What's going on, veterans? It's JB coming to you live. My name is Junius Bennett. I am 100% Navy Desert Storm permanent total veteran. And the reason why I'm sharing this video today is that I'm going to give you more money. Not me personally, but the VA is going to give you more money for an added benefit for an annual increase on your VA disability benefits. This is an ongoing annual benefit. It's called the clothing allowance, okay? The clothing allowance is given to you every year, uh, and it gives an increase just like your regular disability compensation. Now, why would you need a clothing allowance? You know, we got clothing allowances when we were active duty uh, on serving the greatest country in the world. But if you're disabled and you're service connected and you have a prosthetic or orthopedic device that has a metal brace that tears your clothing or wears your clothing, you qualify for an annual clothing allowance. Number two, if you have a skin condition like PFB, like I have with my beard, I have tinea versicola, also is a skin disorder that affects my neck trunk area um, and it messes up my clothes to treat it because I have a topical uh, skin uh, medication that I have to put on, that qualifies me for a clothing allowance. So if you are service connected right now, Congratulations if you got a high value claim, but there's even more money on the table. Please don't leave no money on the table. If you have an orthopedic device or you have a skin condition, you will qualify for a clothing allowance. Now, the clothing allowance rates change every year. In 2020, it was $830.56. It went up in 2021, it's $841.36. Ladies and gentlemen, and this year it's $891, almost $900 will be direct deposited into your Navy Federal account or whatever account that you use to go shopping for new clothes. And if you like me, I like to rock the Nike, I like to rock all the nice things out there. So it hurts me when I put this medication on and it sometimes stain my polos and things of that nature. But every year, they compensate me with a shopping spree of $900 or more. So if that's you, you're going to be excited about that. A lot of, another thing we want to talk about is that if you, if you can get more than one clothing allowance will be even greater, right? Yes, you can get more than one clothing allowance. And I want to meet, read you the criteria to be eligible for more than one. If you have an orthopedic device and you have a skin condition, then that will qualify you one of the ways of getting two clothing allowance. Let me, as a matter of fact, let me just read it to you. The VA may pay more than one annual clothing allowance if a veteran have a service-connected disability or disabilities for which more than one qualifying prosthetic or orthopedic appliance tends to wear or tear clothing. So if you have more than one brace, you may have a knee brace and a leg brace, and that will qualify you for more than one clothing allowance. That's $1,800 shopping spree, ladies and gentlemen. Eight, I got my phone ringing. I apologize. Let me go ahead and get rid of that real quick. Okay, sorry about that. All right, another way of qualifying for multiple clothing allowances is you have a skin medication for more than one service-connected skin condition is used that cause irreparable strength staining. Skin medication for more than one service-connected skin condition. So if you have two skin conditions, all right, and it causes irreparable staining, and I would think in multiples, uh, uh, but maybe your neck or maybe uh, maybe your back or something like that that will qualify you uh, for two clothing allowance. Now, let's go for the third eligibility requirement for two or more clothing allowance. At least one qualifying prosthetic or orthopedic appliance tends to wear or tear clothing, and you got the medication for at least one service-connected skin condition is used that's called irreparable staining. I talked about that first off. So if you have a brace and you have a skin condition, then you will get two clothing allowances. That's $1,800 shopping spree, ladies and gentlemen. That is tax-free. I am so excited about tax-free money. I call it smart money because it's, 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 it's tax-free. Nobody can touch it. It comes direct to you. When you go outside every day for a job, everybody's touching your money. Federally, statewide, city-wise, all these taxes on your check, payroll taxes, all this insurance and all this FICA and all this stuff is hitting you before you get it. And then when you finally get it, you go out in the stores and you get 
bombarded with taxes all over again, like double taxation on uh, your util utility bills, your gas bills, all that stuff is all just taken away from you. VA disability gives you an unfair advantage, like I talk about all the time. There's only 20 million veterans out there. And we have an unfair advantage in the most America. We fought for this country, the greatest country in the world. We're actually in a conflict right now. My heart goes out to the Ukrainians. But we defend this country without workman's comp. And so you are getting the money that you so rightfully deserve for you and your family. Don't delay. The deadline to get this clothing allowance to submit the application is August the 1st. I want to tell you this. The deadline to submit this application is August the 1st. Now, the application that you need to submit is VA Form 10. Dot, I mean, dash 8678. Again, the VA Form is a two page application. VA Form 10 dash 87, I mean, 8678. Here it is right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, probably not. Anyway, on the first part of the form, you're going to pull out your name, your address, uh, your telephone number, your email address. Calendar year for your application, in this case, it'd be 2022. They're going to stamp it, received on the day that you submit it to them. Now, where do you submit this application? Do you send it in, fax it in to the Evidence Intake Center? No. You're going to be sending it to the VA Medical Center, the VHA. Your hospital in your area, in your municipality, has what you call a prosthetic department where they issue prosthetics. In that department is where you're going to submit this application. On the second part of the application, you're going to mention your meds that you're taking for your skin disorders, okay? And the date uh, that the skin medication was issued. In my case, it was March 2019. Uh, name and location of VA facility. I have Atlanta VA Medical Center, all right? Um, list all impacted locations, chest, back, buttocks. You just put that there, self-explanatory, and your medications that you're taking for your PFB or, or tineal versicola or whatever your skin disorder is. Uh, same thing with your uh, your orthodontic, uh, orthopedic uh, device. Uh, you're going to submit that to, again, the VA Medical Center where, the product, where they pro issue prosthetics. So you just ask the little bailmen around, the people that help you in the hospital. So where's the department where prosthetics, they give out prosthetics, and you're going to submit the VA form 10-8678 before August 1st. We're still in the month of March. I think the day is the 22nd of March. You have a lot of time, but don't procrastinate, ladies and gentlemen. Procrastination is your enemy, okay? You do not want to procrastinate on getting this money. That's almost $900. It's basically like they're paying you $75 a month to buy new items every time you mess up your month. But you're getting a lump sum, ladies and gentlemen, to use at your discretion. They don't police where you spend your money at. They don't police to tell us where your clothes are being messed up or nothing like that. They don't do that. Fill out the application. You should get your money by Labor Day. I usually get my direct deposit by Labor Day every year. Sometimes it's delayed, but rest assured, it will be approved. Uh, they will give you a, um, a letter and tell you about your decision uh, on that application. It will tell you if you've been approved for your um, annual clothing allowance. It will tell you what it's being approved for and things of that nature. Now, if you need a telephone consultation, a free consultation regarding clothing allowance or any other disability that you're trying to claim, go on to newlifeveterans.com as well as like, subscribe, comment to this channel. Tell me, show me some love if you appreciate the valuable information that we're putting out to you, okay? Again, if you need a telephone consultation about receiving a high-value disability claim with us at New Life and Veterans, Please feel free to fill out the information, your name, your email, telephone number. You will be called back. As of today, we have about 28 veterans that are in queue to be called back. We appreciate your patience. God bless you and have a great day.